Now that's more like one of your test questions. Now, in, and you don't let it spook you because you start from the inside, right? And the inside is a plus one, which means it is right one, right? Then you move to the outside, and your outside has two things going on. It has a minus and it has a one half, right? And the minus is a what? It's a, yep, a reflect who? <laughs> reflect who? You're changing who? See, if, it, if it's the y-axis, if it's inside where the x's live, because you're changing the x's. I'm not changing the x's, I'm changing the y. So if I'm changing the y value, it's got to be the... x-axis. So just, just make this stuff up as we go along, right? And I've got a one-half there. And what's the one-half do? What kind of a shrink? Vertical. Vertical. I wouldn't put factor of a half in there. I did, but I wouldn't at that point. And then finally, I'm done with the front. I come to the back, and it's what? So it's going to be up. So I have four of the six transformations in one problem. Now, in trigonometry, you're likely to have six of the six. But uh, here, uh, not so much. So what's the basic function? Basic function, of course, is the graph, or if you want to say the court, I don't care. T-bar chart, graph. And then we said, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the right by one. After I moved it to the right by one, I'm done with the inside, so I'm moving to the outside. So now I'm moving from X to Y. Everything else now is going to be on the Y. Uh, it's going to be a reflect the x-axis, a vertical shrink, and this is where I would put factor of a half, since I know what my multiplier is going to be. And then it's going to be up 2. So that says I'm going to take the x values and add 1 to all the x values. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't matter whether I have a reflect or the shrink first. And you're going to say, well, why is that? If I have a minus 1 half, this is minus 1 times positive 1 half. It's the same as if I write 1 half times minus, minus 1. 1 half times minus 1. So, whoops. So that says, this says reflect first, then shrink. This says shrink first, then reflect. So it doesn't matter what order you put them in. The nice thing is, these two multiply together to get negative 1 half. So I have a twofer when I go to perform it. Because it's multiply, multiply. That means when I look at this guy right here, that means I'm going to take the y values and multiply him by negative one half. So I get two for the price of one. Because I can multiply by one half, then I can multiply by negative one, but I get this the same impact as multiplying by negative one half. And then once I've done that, to this guy, I'm going to add 2, so I'm going to move up 2. So I make sure I put the x's on the x side, the y's on the y side. On the x side, write 1 means I'm going to add 1 to all the x's. So minus 3, minus 1, 
3, 5. And now I'm going to flip and shrink. So I'm going to multiply by minus 1 half. So this is going to be 1, 1, minus 1, 1. And then I'm going to move up to, so this is 3, 3, 1, 3. And then that's my new. So that'll be my new graph. And let's see what I think. He's going to be moved to the right, flipped upside down, shrunk this way. So he's going to be shorter than he was originally. But this little point that's going up is going to be going down. That's how I know he's upside down. So, negative 3, positive 3, negative 3, positive 3, negative 1, positive 3, negative 1, positive 3, positive 3, positive 1, positive 3, positive 1, positive 5, positive 3. He's going to look just like he looked before, and he's going to be just as wide. But you notice he is shorter, smaller version of himself. So like I put him on a copy machine and said, reduce. <laughs>